In this module, we will discuss various methods of uh, animal nutrition. So, detritivores are those organisms which lives on detritus. And what is detritus? It is organic matter which is produced by the decomposition of uh, organisms. And earthworm is example of uh, detritivores organisms. And uh, now we will classify animals by what they eat. And number one is the, the herbivorous animals. And uh, these are animals which eat plants. Example is that of sheep and zebra. And then we have another class which is called as carnivores. And uh, these animals eat other animals. An example is lion, spider, tiger and vultures. And then we have third class which is that of omnivorous. And these animals eat animals as well as uh, other animals. An example is that of hedgehogs, chicken, fox or wild boar. Now we will see the effect of mode of feeding on dentition pattern. Uh, we will see various uh, teeth type. Uh, number one is canines. Uh, you can see here uh, that uh, these are canines and uh, these are actually pointed teeth. And we can see in our own dentition pattern that these are poorly developed uh, while they are highly developed in carnivores. Uh, they are obviously uh, highly developed in carnivores because they are used for killing prey, holding prey and tearing the, the flesh of their prey and also um, tearing it apart and perishing it. And then we have uh, these front teeth which are called as incisors and uh, they are flat and they have sharp edges and they are used for cutting and biting food. And then we have uh, these teeth which are called premolars and they possess two cusps. Cusps are actually these uh, out bridging and these are used for crushing and grinding food and uh, in human they may also be used to tear food. And then we have uh, uh, molars and uh, they, they have a four or five cusps and they are used to crush and grind food and they are not uh, present in the milk teeth of humans. And then uh, you can see here the division of uh, uh, molars, premolars, canine and incisors. And uh, we can see here the herbivore teeth and uh, they have no canines and uh, um, they, there is a large gap between incisors and molars and molars are smooth for grinding and they have uh, f uh, flattened incisors. While carnivores have uh, pointed incisors and uh, they have exaggerated or uh, fully developed uh, canines and they have uh, jag molars because they have to undergo litter chewing. And now you can see the omnivore teeth. They have sharp incisors, they have smaller canines and they have moderately bumpy molars uh, which is used for crushing and not grinding. This is another figure of the comparison of uh, omnivore and uh, herbivore and carnivore teeth. Now we have certain other types of uh, animal nutrition present in various organisms. Uh, number one is filter feeders. They are the organisms which take in water and uh, along with the water they obviously uh, obtain their food. So you can see here that uh, there is an example of a sea mussel. Uh, it takes in uh, water via the incurrent siphon and it filters its food which contain plankton and it digests it. And uh, then the water is uh, actually moved out via the excurrent siphon. And then we have another class which is called as a fluid feeder. As the name shows that they uh, intake food in form of fluid. Uh, we can take the example of aphids. They take their food uh, um, by uh, extracting the fluid from the phloem. And then we have macrophagous uh, feeders. They are organisms uh, which take in food in a form of uh, large uh, food chunks. For example, uh, garden snail take in food uh, as a large food chunk. Uh, they take in a leaf and uh, radula is a tongue-like structure which help the uh, taking in of the, the large food chunk actually. Uh, actually when they take in leaf, the, this radula uh, move in and out and uh, the uh, lip, uh, lip holds the um, uh, food inside and uh, teeth then churn the food into smaller pieces. Then we have parasitic nutrition and a parasite may be ectoparasite or endoparasite and ectoparasites are those parasites which live outside the uh, body 
of their host and uh, we can see the example of a flea, uh, they grow on the fur of uh, uh, various animals like monkey and the example of endoparasite which live inside the host body is uh, that of tapeworm and then we have another terms regarding parasitic nutrition, uh, number one is obligate parasite, they are those parasites which uh, cannot live without their host cell uh, or host uh, organism. Example is that of Fasciola hepatica, they uh, need to host for their life cycle to continue, otherwise they won't be able to uh, complete their life cycle. And then we have a term which is called, uh, which is a facultative parasite. Uh, the, uh, the facultative parasite can actually uh, live uh, without a dependency on their host. For example, hyenas and lion uh, can uh, uh, capture their own prey. Uh, but they uh, steal their, uh, the uh, prey or steal the hunt of the other animals too. That is why they are called as a facultative parasite. So that is all about the various methods of uh, animal nutrition.